Hello, I'm going to talk about the conservation of energy. Here I have a 16 pound bowling ball on a cable here that's capable of swinging as a pendulum. And uh, if I apply a certain amount of uh, force to this, it takes 16 pounds of force to lift it. So if I lift it with 16 pounds of force through a distance of one foot, I've increased its energy by 16 foot pounds by doing 16 foot pounds of work on the object. Now, once it has that elevation of one vertical foot, it doesn't matter whether I lift it vertically or whether I slide it up this uh, invisible ramp here, uh, the natural path, as long as the vertical change in elevation is one foot, it'll have 16 foot-pounds of potential energy. Now, when I release it from this point, its potential energy will be converted to kinetic energy as it gets down to the bottom of the path and uh, all of its potential energy will be converted to kinetic and then back to potential again as it swings back and forth as a pendulum. At any given point, if we take a snapshot right there, it has some potential and some kinetic energy, the sum of the two being equal to 16 foot-pounds at any given point in its motion. Now, if I exert a force in the direction opposite from motion, I do negative work, and I take energy from the system, and now its energy is uh, back to what we might call zero. Now, to illustrate that I have full confidence in this principle of conservation of energy, I'm going to do an experiment where I'm going to be part of the experiment, and I'm going to uh, potentially sacrifice myself to illustrate this principle of conservation of energy and illustrate how... how uh, how much confidence I have in this principle by taking this bowling ball, coming over to this uh, step stool, and holding this up to my nose and releasing it. But before I do that, I'll ask the question what would happen if I give it a push just before I release it? If I push on it with a force through a distance, that's going to do work on it and add energy to the system, and so it'll have more energy than it has here. And when it comes back, some of that energy could smash my nose. I don't want that to happen. So I need to be careful not to do this. Or if I do that, take that energy out of the system by doing negative work on it just as it comes back to me. But back to the main uh, point of the experiment, if it has zero kinetic energy and a certain potential energy at this point, when it comes back to this point, its potential energy will be the same and therefore kinetic energy would also have to be zero, which means when it comes back to this point, it'll have to be motionless. So I have confidence that my nose won't get smashed. Let's try it and see. I can feel the wind blowing. At each point in the path, the total energy remains constant as there's an interplay between potential energy, kinetic energy, back to potential. Conservation of energy.